Show them that you trust them and give them an opportunity to win this football game. First down wins the game. Hard count trying to get the offside call. And Greg Williams took a timeout just as that was happening. Timeout. Oh. So, so they go hard count to try to get the guy in the neutral zone. And watch Greg Robinson. I think it's Robinson, the left tackle, reacting to the motion, trying to get the neutral zone infraction. There's the jump. And if you keep going, you'll see Robinson react to try to tag him in the neutral zone. As Williams, the head coach, is coming down to call the timeout from the top. And the timeout is recognized by the official who would have called oh. the neutral zone infraction <laughs> on that play. Wow. And Mike Pereira confirms it would have been neutral zone infraction. Five yards, game over. But Williams' timeout denies that. And we'll do it all again. Everybody on their feet. Place going nuts. Fourth and one. Browns for the win. Chubb. No. Adam Gottes. Broncos alive. Any foul here stops the clock. So they don't have to rush. Here is Keenum. Swing it on Deshaun Hamilton, out of bounds, 34-yard line. There is McManus, get the career-long 57. Don't just have to attack the sideline. So about 30 yards away, give or take a few from field goal range. Keenum going to take a shot to Hamilton downfield, hand fighting, no flag, incomplete. Third and two, got to pick up a first down. The next couple of snaps, minute 32 to go. Keenum trying to pick up that first down. Hamilton stop. What a play by Brian Body Calhoun. He came up with a huge stop, and now it's fourth down, and they've got to get to the 37. Must make. Keenum, three-man rush. He throws. It's caught for the first down. Game stays alive with Booker. And Devontae Booker keeps going. Helmet off. Shy of midfield. Can't stop the clock. Minute left. That was really a nice job by Devontae Booker, who sneaks through the line as a little bit of a hook there and breaks away from the linebacker. So kill the clock, 52 seconds left, about 12 or 13 yards from field goal range. He's giving the Broncos life. 52 seconds left from midfield. Keenum, incomplete in the middle. Lacoste, the tight end, looking for a flag. They get none. It's third down. The coverage with Jabril Peppers. They've been picking you apart with the underneath stuff, so got to get up in their face. Nice job across the board there by Peppers right there to make a play on the football. Two plays to get 10 yards. Here comes the pressure up the middle. It's picked up for the moment. Keenum retreats, puts it up for grabs. It's incomplete. It'll bring up fourth down. The fans wanted a pass interference to the tackle, but that was fine. There was nothing happening there. So here we go. We're down to one play again in this one. And that's typical Greg, Greg Williams right there, what we call blitz zero. Man to man across the board. No safeties are going to bring everybody else on the pressure. Wouldn't be surprised if again, he does it again on fourth ask, down. Do you think he comes with it again? I, I do think he comes with it again. Play off coverage, try to get him to throw quick and make a tackle in this situation, but that's who he is and how he likes to live. Well, Dr. Heat bringing the heat on this final play. Fourth and ten. 43 seconds remaining. Here he comes. Free runner. Keenum is sacked by Jabril Peppers, and the Browns will win. Tried to dress it up again, but exact same blitz. Going to see him bring an overload. They're going to bring more than you can than you can cover, more than you can block, and they force you to have to make a quick throw. There was no quick throw to be made. Peppers gets there quickly and finishes this game. And the Cleveland Browns will win four of their last five. They will go to six, seven, and one. And the Cleveland Browns are still in the playoff mix. We're, we're still saying it. it you, you laid out the scenario for these next couple weeks. Those Cleveland fans are, are going to hang on your every word, Mike. I'll tell you, since.